Good afternoon. It's Monday, November 14th, 2011. I'm Jamie Chadwick with your Erner Berry Market Report, sponsored by NAMP's English-Spanish version of the Meat Buyer's Guide. Today, FoodMarket.com is reporting that a fire at a Tyson Foods chicken processing facility in Arkansas, which caused damage to a broiler building, is currently under investigation. You can get more on this story and other news from the center of the plate at FoodMarket.com. Now let's check out the markets. In the egg market, retail demand continues to be reported as good. Supplies of extra large and large are well balanced and the market is steady. Mediums are noted as fully adequate to long and further processors are in active buyers of heavy breaking eggs. In reviewing Erner Berry's weekly Insider's Red Meat Report released last Friday evening on Comtel, we find that in the box beef markets began the week mostly steady, but by the end of the week had firmed considerably. This was largely due to the record high prices paid for cattle on Thursday, and wholesale beef volume was light on the week as beef demand has taken a backseat to more popular Thanksgiving items. Choice middles continue to track higher on limited availability, causing a few buyers to look to lower grade product instead. End cuts were mixed on the week, clods and top rounds firm slightly, while some discounts were offered for chuck rolls, outside rounds and eye of rounds. <coughs> Grinds were limited for near term availability and as a result prices ended the week higher. In boneless beef, the market for fat trim remained firm last week. A sharp reduction in the weekly slaughter, resulting from unfavorable box beef market conditions, helped limit offerings of fatter trim. Leaner boneless beef continued to be supported by a lack of imported beef offerings and demand for domestic frozen lean beef. In the pork market, persistently strong production led to a consistent weakening among wholesale pork prices last week. This combined with a seasonally slow period for retail products resulted in lackluster performance for individual cuts as well as hogs. Sellers struggled to find homes for the current production of loins and butts for the majority of last week as attention turned from fresh meat to more traditional November items. Discounts were used to move loin products, especially boneless loins, where values fell as much as $19 per hundred weight on average. Every other item in the complex closed in the red. Picnic items were mixed, but interest was noted among retail buyers looking to add to holiday supplies. Butts traded in wide ranges, reflecting varied levels of inventory among the packing sector. Spare ribs continued to firm given a sustained and unrelenting support from frozen orders. Looking at poultry in the chicken market, most items have shortened considerably in their availability last week. This was certainly a result of the consistent industry cutbacks that have been performed over the last few quarters, but it appeared as though a slight uptick in business had an influence as well. A number of our listed lines were described as short of needs, while the remainder was adequate at most. Wogs and whole birds were held with confidence and garnered slight premiums in most cases. Whole breasts were tight and sought after. Dark meat was well supported overall. Wings continued to be limited under seasonable demand patterns. Talking turkey, the preoccupation with the whole body turkey segment of the market stole most of the thunder from the balance of the complex. Tackling whole birds, we found things to be in good order. A handful of frozen hens were packed and we found some toms at the distributed level offered for placement. Most ass prices fully supported the earner berry quotations, but willingness to accept a penny or two discount at some distributorships was noted. Fresh turkey prices for December are slowly coming to fruition and thus far closely resemble those asked for Thanksgiving orders. Whole wings tended to be held for premiums and were very limited in supply. Tails were placed at numbers closely resembling our current quotations. White meats and related trims were somewhat unsettled and young tom and hen meat were supported overall. For trends, charts, and further commentary, be sure to get the full version of Erner Berry's Weekly Insider's Red Meat Report on Comtel. Last up this afternoon is a look at market indices. Last week, beef was up 0.8%, pork was down 1.8%, chicken was up 1%, and turkey was unchanged, with the egg index was down 0.3%. That wraps up Erner Berry's Market Report, brought to you today by NAMP's English-Spanish version of the Meat Buyer's Guide featuring a side-by-side -side Mexican-Spanish translation of the English text. Call 800-932-0617 to order your guide today.